I'm thinking of something big today. Perhaps trying to get on and walk. I know, I know, you're probably thinking, what, you're gonna try walking? Um, yeah, I think, I think we're ready for that. We're gonna try walking in just a neck rope and seeing if we have brakes, if we can turn. Uh, pretty much that, you know? <laughs> I honestly think it'll go pretty smoothly. If I didn't, oh, I just zipped my skin into my boot. And I'm excited, but at the same time, trying not to put all my hopes and dreams on Henley. And if she's not feeling it today, once again, we don't have to. We can always save it for a different day. So I'm excited to try uh, walking. <laughs> oh, how far we've come. Look at that. Just her walking up to me when I'm holding all her halter is such a huge difference from the day you got here. Good girl. I hate when you do this, it's not even close to in focus. Look how bright that guy's shirt is. You see it? No, you don't see it. Okay. voiceover so I can explain some things and give context to some of what was going on and what was happening. But typically during a session, I try to get on two to three times just so we can work on establishing a strong foundation that the mounting block is a good place, that we stand at the mounting block, that we can stand at the mounting block for a long time. However, when I got on Henley, I noticed a hole in our training that is a reflection of my own bad habit on the ground where I will give her a reward and then I am impatient. And so I always walk off like right away instead of taking a deep breath after giving her the reward to settle and then moving on to the next thing. And so now she's gotten into the habit of just kind of getting her reward and walking off right away because she thinks that is what I'm asking. So that's something that I just have to go back and clean up a little bit, but you know, that's not the end of the world. The other thing that I really have to work on is not asking too much too soon. With this being the first time I was getting on her, I should have really been working and only working on making sure we had a clear walk cue and a clear halt cue. And me trying to introduce turning with the neck rope was really confusing at this stage because we didn't have clear walk and halt communication. And here you can see her checking in, asking for a reward because she can't figure out what the question is I'm asking because I'm not being very clear with my aides. I'm asking too much too soon. My rewards aren't being frequent or consistent enough. And so that kind of makes her attention span dwindle really quickly and it doesn't help clarify anything because I'm not being clear at all. And so because I wasn't being very clear or concise, she started getting frustrated, confused, and was like, eh, I'd rather go back to the pasture. And so I lost her attention and the next time I get on, I'm really going to just work on making sure we have a very clear walk-off cue, very clear halt cue, and not worry about turning at all. She can walk wherever the heck she wants. We just need to make sure we have those two basic foundation pieces locked and loaded. We're quickly running out our clock for the tension span. All right. I think we fit our limit today. Trin says, I'll come here. Out of first rides. <laughs> that wasn't horrible. You know, that actually, that could have gone a lot worse. I'm so proud of her. Can you give me a smile? That was enough. How do you feel it went, hun? How do you think you did today? 
I think you did freaking awesome. I think we did all right. We didn't do the greatest. I mean, we didn't smash out of the park, but you know what? We definitely didn't fail. Honestly, I'm actually really happy with that. How is she supposed to understand neck rope cues from above if the conditioning she's had with neck rope cues has always been from the ground. She always has my body language to feed off of when I'm asking her to turn or stop. Her just not bolting off. <laughs> I mean, those, I'm okay with that. We had some breaks. She definitely at the end didn't want to be there anymore and wanted to go back into the pasture. And so I cut our ride then. Really making sure that my horses want to be there and be willing participants. So her asking to go back to the pasture a few different times is like the, yeah, okay. We, you know, we've hit our max of the day. We've hit our attention span. We've come to the end of what she wanted to do for the day. As much as I would have liked to keep going, I also have to respect her decision of wanting to stop and go back to the pasture for the evening. It's not teaching her bad habits or spoiling her or anything of that nature. It was just, you know, she wasn't having fun. I might not have been rewarding frequently enough once I was on her back and so she got confused and now she it wasn't really worth her while. She wasn't learning, she was confused. No one wants to hang out when they're confused. I mean, hello, do you like being confused? I know I don't. That was our first ride. Honestly, I it could have gone so many different ways. I think that was on par with pretty much what everyone else goes through, so frick yeah. Guess who trotted their horse yesterday? <laughs> it was me, it was I, I did it. We trotted under saddle in just a neck rope. Not only did we trot, but we turned and we halted, which like, who's gonna stop us now? We're unstoppable, Unstop unstoppable. Uh, the only problem is that none of that footage is usable because the exposure on my camera was cranked up to the nines apparently and it's just a just a screen of white like there there's no saving that footage which really sucks because because i wanted that badly have no fears my friends we are going to go for round two today and perhaps fingers crossed we can trot more than 10 steps at one time which like whoa watch out we are we're coming for you i don't know who we're coming for but we <laughs> We're coming for you. I'm gonna go grab Henley, tack her up, and get on and try trotting again. I just, I can't believe we're trotting under saddle in like a neck rope on a horse that's off the track only a month and a half. <laughs> Look at me, I'm fucking awesome. And so is my horse. Rather be fun than what they say won't be safe and sound. There's time for that, but not now. My shirt is on backwards. <laughs> I can't even dress myself. This is embarrassing. The other day, my pants were on backwards. Thought that was a fluke incident. Turns out I was once again incorrect. No, I was right. Oh my God, this is backwards. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a midlife crisis. I don't know how to dress myself. Apparently, I was actually just mistaken. This, in fact, is the back. I was wondering why the front didn't appear to have a tag, but I definitely thought that was the back. So that's how today's gonna go. We are tacked up and should be ready to go. I actually just had a fun conversation on the phone. I had my saddle evaluated to just see if like the general fit is okay and like the tree size and stuff in my saddle is good to go. And it is right now, it's just slightly out of balance as you might be able to see. The back is sitting like a little bit low. I'm gonna purchase a Mattis half pad and then put some shims in the back and have her reevaluate it that the fit is still good and now it's balanced. Boy oh boy is this a look. We are fashionistas. Fashion icons, the both of us. Oh, there's no saddle pad under my saddle. Sorry, it was like this for trying it on for the saddle fitter. Hang on, we'll be right back after we put a saddle pad on. Don't come round and waste my time A generation of my time
This is scary. It not it does not feel secure. <laughs> How do you get off? I'm gonna have her follow me. You're not gonna do anything, okay? You're up here, man. Yeah, it's a different altitude. You need an oxygen mask? And riding pants for this. Yeah, that is not approved. Footwear or breeches. Or helmet. Oh yeah, or helmet. You're risking a TBI there, buddy. It's, I've fallen further. Don't further. brag about that. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't very comfortable. Well, you're probably sitting on your nuts. Are you even sitting correctly? Probably not. Oh, Come here. Okay. Easy, girl. She'll halt with me. Yeah, but I might fall off. <laughs> I could not draw it. She can draw it. I could not. No, I'm not going to let you try. I'm barely letting you walk. Well, don't kick her in the butt. Just swing your leg all the way over. Okay. You're so good. She likes hugs. Yes, she does. And cookies. We're doing so good. She keeps just excelling and improving so freaking much so you also be trotting and halting and turning and just a neck rope and i also don't have an arena she also has such a sane brain with probably any other horse it would be taking a lot longer do not base your own time frame off of our time frame please for the love of god this is going so smoothly like eventually we're gonna hit a bump in the road she's just excelling at everything and you know giving me the green light and saying okay to let me get on let me trot walk turning she's just learning so fast any other horse I wouldn't even be able to tack them up yet. To have her already be here is just, I'll stop blabbing. I gotta untack her, put her back in the pasture. This horse is amazing. <laughs> On the road, headed back to New Orleans. Driving in the country. Past old timey scenes, big birds were singing in the tall willow trees. Mighty fine. Three words written on the paper. Oh my gosh, I can't believe how good she is. Just every single freaking time. Like, I would say, I can't believe how good she is today. But she's incredible every day. Like, she's just. Oh my god, this horse keeps blowing me away. I am so floored and happy with her. I'm so happy with our progress. I mean, I don't think there's a way I could not be happy with our progress. She is hitting every milestone I hoped we would hit within three months, within a month and a half. Like, my goal was to ride her, our first ride, be in just a neck rope. And like, look at us, we did We did it. We said, I didn't even think we'd be able to succeed. But we did it, like we freaking did it and we're trotting. If I can do it, anyone can freaking do it. That's what this tells you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you didn't, then I don't know how to help you, man. Like at this point, you're not gonna like me. You're never gonna like any of my other videos. You might as well just stop watching and like cut your losses here. But if you did like it, cool. I, I liked it too, I was a big fan. I thought we made a lot of progress today and like in the last couple of weeks. When the next vlog will be out, once again, I have no freaking idea, but seems like I'm creating more vlogs more frequently now that like I have new progress to track and it's not just like, Trin's still retired. <laughs> See ya in the next one. Oh! That was unexpected. Uh -uh. I broke it.